This video was brought to you by the Magic Candle Company. Go to magiccandlecompany.com and use code OFFHAND15 for 15% off your whole purchase. It's perfect for the holidays. Giving the gift of the smell of the Disney parks is perfect for your loved ones who like watching my videos or who like going to the Disney parks, so check it out. Now just this last week, I was able to venture down to Orlando, Florida to enjoy the opening of Rise of the Resistance, the new dark ride in Galaxy's Edge. I had a lot of fun and I met a lot of new friends while I was down there and I'll talk about that a little later, but let's talk about first and foremost Rise of the Resistance and if a single dark ride is worth all the hype that was built up about it. Now as many of you know, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is a land that opened with only one attraction, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. And this of course limited the capacity of the land and the enjoyment that you could have while not riding attractions. It was a simulator after all. and. I don't really like simulator rides, even though this one is very well done and way more interactive than, say, Star Tours. But Rise of the Resistance was the big one. It would make or break the land. It was a fully interactive dark ride with the most technologically advanced animatronics Disney had ever made. Allegedly. After staying awake the entire night, which in hindsight was probably a bad idea, we were lucky enough to be near the front of the line for the parking lot for Disney's Hollywood Studios when it opened up at 4.30 and then we proceeded to sprint back to Galaxy's Edge even though it was closed off and wouldn't open for another hour. We still had free reign of the park until our boarding group was called and when it was, our lives truly began. After moving through the queue and finding the secret Jungle Cruise Easter egg, that's right, that's the backside of water you just saw. We were shuffled into the very first pre-show room where BB-8 was waiting for us and we received a very important transmission from Rey herself. Transmission from Rey. Whoa. BB-8, is everyone assembled? Good. Shouldn't you be a flight prep? Recruits, thank you for joining the cause. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a First Order Star Destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pakara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Nine up and I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the force be with us. Commander Polter and the squadron of X-Wings shall escort us to the rendezvous point on Pakara. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine-looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the general. Stand clear. Deck doors opening now. Oh, wow. Oh. Are you BB's up there? No need for safety here, it'll be a smooth ride. And it is from here where we were about to board our shuttle to take us to our secret base on Bakara, but unfortunately, it seems the First Order had different plans. The ride, unfortunately, broke down right here. But I think it's very easy to say that what I had seen of the attraction thus far got me even more excited for when the ride opened later on that day, about an hour later. And as far as I know, the ride did not break down any more throughout the rest of the day, even though that isn't the case for day two or day three, but we were lucky to have it functioning the rest of the 23 24ths of the day. Eventually we made it back to where we were and we boarded the resistance transport that was going to take us to our secret base. And let me tell you, Star Tours just rip it all out, tear it down, it cannot even come close to even the pre-show of Rise of the Resistance. You're standing inches away from an animatronic of Lieutenant Beck while he takes you to the secret base. And it very much is a version of Star Tours that is improved on in every way, in my opinion. Bye. Engage repulsors and hold on, recruits. All ships launched. I am Lieutenant Beck. As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Bakara. We're two, blue five, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. I want to get better than that. Black leader. We're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. 
Give me a what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We got company, first order TIE fighters. We run! so we can make the jump. Be ready, you won't have much time. Where are all those TIE fighters coming from? Hey, get out there. One in there. Star Destroyers. Get out of there! We can't. We're caught in a tractor beam. It's pulling us in. I'll get some friends to make this a fair fight. Don't worry, I'll come back for you. Stay strong. We can see it. Cover of TR-141. Identify yourselves and prepare to be boarded. This is TR-141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance Scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. They'll do it, get out there! They'll want the location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. The future of the Resistance is at stake. I have a bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors! Once the doors opened on the same side we entered through, mind you, I don't know how they do that, we were treated to one of the most immersive rooms I have ever been in in any attraction ever. A massive group of stormtroopers greeted us to the front, but scattered around them were other groups of stormtroopers that I thought, for a second, were cast members, but no, they were animatronic also. The hangar itself is massive, and all the stormtroopers have little fidgets that they do that make you feel like they're real people. And all the while you see space and other star destroyers and tie fighters out the window behind them and you can see a TIE fighter hanging on the wall to your right. Honestly, one of the most impressive rooms for any pre-show of any Disney ride ever. Probably the most impressive, although it will never stand up to the stretching room in my heart. And then you were ushered out of the hangar into well, into a line, but you are about to board your first order transit vehicle, so you are about to ride the ride. It is from here where you are led into an interrogation room with seemingly no escape, and what happens next? I'll just have to show you guys. Yeah, look behind us. Oh no. Oh my. Yeah, see, I was looking this way when we walked in. Get in. Prisoners are secure. Once again, resistance, you've been assigned the color. Remember it. But our interrogator won't be as nice as I was. And then, well, you had finally made it past the pre-show and the real ride begins. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the ride through and our very loud, excited first reactions to it. I'll join you guys afterwards to talk about this feat of Imagineering, but until then, enjoy Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. No, we're gonna die here. That's fine with me, I can die here, that's fine. You got so much! 
Take this corridor to the turbo lift. Then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Beck will guide you. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. Trackless. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. Oh, thank you for your service. Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lift at the end of the hallway. Turn right. So, 
Let's talk about what we just experienced. Saying Star Wars Rise of the Resistance is the most technologically advanced ride Disney has ever built is pretty accurate. My favorite part of a ride is a pre-show, the stretching room and the changing portrait hallway in the Haunted Mansion, the sort of bayou scene in Pirates of the Caribbean, I'd count that as a pre-show, and the Resistance transport, the hangar bay, and everything in between for this ride is a amazing pre-show. I would even count the Resistance transport as part of the ride, and there's lots of things to do, the Play Parks app, and lots of props from the movies to look at while you're in line. In this ride, they use a blend of screens and physical sets, and while I prefer the physical sets, the screens are very well done. Like at the beginning in the interrogation room, you can see the shadows of Kylo Ren and General Hux. They move through the room, so they are way more convincing than just your average everyday projection screen. Another thing that stood out to me was the blaster damage on walls and different set pieces. It's an effect that reminds me very, very much of Muppet Vision when the theater is getting destroyed during the finale. And while the ride is said to contain many, many animatronics, like over 200 I think I heard it said somewhere, only 10 or 11 of those are actually on ride and not stationary like in the hangar. And it's really refreshing to see just some classic Disney human animatronics moving around like humans do. I really do love the fluidity of these animatronics, they look very, very real, except for one part I think when Kylo Ren is pulling your transport back with the force, the way his arms move look a little dainty, almost kind, kind of like Elsa is what we were saying in Frozen Ever After, not as forceful or aggressive the way he's portrayed in the films. But other than that, all the animatronics are amazingly done. The attention to detail in this ride would make Walt proud, and I know that for a fact. And now, as you see on screen, we are loading into the drop shaft portion of the ride, which is its own separate ride system, almost. It's definitely not as long or as tall of a drop in Tower of Terror, but you can feel the ride system lurching downward as you launch your escape pod from the Star Destroyer. It's a really amazing finale to the ride. Right after coming face to face with Kylo Ren, you get sent down a drop shaft, and I think that's really awesome. The last thing that I wanted to talk about was the outdoor unloading station. It's really something kind of cool, I think, sets it apart from other high-intensity dark rides. With the amount of urgency and pressure going on when you're on the Star Destroyer, exiting outside on Batu kind of signals to the guests that you're safe, you're back in Galaxy's Edge, and you can go enjoy a blue milk now. Honestly, I think this ride really does stand up to the hype and really brings Walt Disney Imagineering to the next level. Don't get it confused with the drop shaft as a thrill ride. It's really first and foremost an immersive dark ride like Pirates of the Haunted Mansion. And I really hope that this is the new future of hyper-immersive dark rides that we're going to be seeing opening at the Disney parks through the coming years. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is the beginning of an all new era of Disney Imagineering? Does it improve or lessen your opinion of Galaxy's Edge? I'd love to hear what you guys think of this dark ride down in the comments below. If you've been on it, if you haven't been on it, it doesn't matter. I just want to hear what you guys think. And also, if you're interested in some candles, uh, magiccandlecompany.com has got you covered. Let's talk about that real quick. Perfect for the holidays or if you just miss the smell of Pirates of the Caribbean, visit the link in the description down below and use code OFFHAND15 for 15% off your whole purchase. It does more if you buy more. But again, a very big thanks to Magic Candle Company for sponsoring this video. Visit the link and get yourself some freaking candles, guy. So whether it's Star Speeders, Star Destroyers, or Green Milk, if you like green milk, I honestly do believe that Galaxy's Edge has something for everyone now and is a fully realized land. And hey, who knows? Maybe Rise of the Resistance is only the first step for Disney in creating new, completely immersive, high-budget dark rides. We can only hope, right? Hey everybody! Uh, as you can probably tell, this video took a lot of work to make, and I had to get up very early and also not sleep at all many times in order to ride Rise of the Resistance, so a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated if you enjoyed this kind of breakdown slash ride through opening day walkthrough of Rise of the Resistance. I really did, though, have a lot of fun making it. I met a bunch of new friends, and I am very excited for what the rest of the year and what the rest of 2020, 2021 is going to bring for all of Disney. So stay tuned to the channel for more coverage of Galaxy's Edge, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and... I'm gonna make a Frozen 2 video. I like that movie a lot, and I want to talk about it. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.